Well, it's Steve White, Trekboy89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, some bad news for Star Trek fans. Um, apparently, Bob Backish has left Paramount. He uh, supposedly was one of the um, executives who was really for changing Star Trek, making it less complicated, um, getting rid of Kurtzman, uh, basically taking Star Trek back to something that resembled Star Trek, um, and or at least changing the direction a bit and trying to, you know, head back more towards what Star Trek was. And um, he really wasn't apparently happy with the um, the deal with um, Skydance because it isn't so great for Paramount itself. It's more self-serving for Sherry Radstone. And he just left because it just it wasn't, wasn't going to work. He couldn't basically be there. Um, and unfortunately, he he apparently was the leader of the um, small amount of people who wanted to do, make some changes to Star Trek. Um, who, when the Warner Brothers deal was sort of being proposed, um, they wanted to do the Star Trek studios and um, buy out Kurtzman and and be able to produce Star Trek themselves again. Instead of paying him hundreds of millions of dollars to give them a Star Trek show and get something that's not very good that is hard to sell because fans don't like it. Um, they could just make their own show and make it how they want um, because they couldn't do that before because of all the copyright and then once the um, the, the Viacom Paramount merger went went through all that changed but because Kurtzman that were already ingrained and have everything already contracted they couldn't really change anything so the merger didn't save Star Trek and then when I heard that they were going to sell Paramount someone was going to be buying Paramount I thought well maybe if we're lucky they'll make a bunch of changes. Um, and that was what um, Warner Brothers wanted to do. But um, um, Skydance doesn't because they've already worked with Kurtzman and they're just happy to keep going and leaving things as they are. So it's really hard. It's really hard being a Star Trek fan and seeing it just being ruined. And you have these moments of hope where you think maybe if they merge the companies again, they can get rid of the contract issues and that. But the contracts all stayed in place. Just basically they wouldn't sue each other, basically because um, they're not separate companies anymore, but um, they're all, all the contracts stayed in place, everything just kept going along as it was going to either way, so it didn't really change anything, which was really heartbreaking. And then we have the idea that someone's going to buy Paramount, and then the idea was there's going to be a bunch of changes, and now we hear that that's not going to happen. The people who are buying Paramount are uh, basically the same people who are working with Bad Robot and that anyway, so they've already got those relationships, they're happy with it, they don't have a problem, they don't get why Star Trek isn't Star Trek anymore, and they have no interest in actually improving it or making it better or doing anything about it. So it's fairly depressing. Um, it's just like I love Star Trek and I haven't seen an episode. There hasn't been an episode of Star Trek produced with the exception of um, Picard Season 3 for like 15 years. And we just get, get these, other sh these other generic sci-fi shows that um, are science fantasy and um, very current day political dramas and so forth instead of Star Trek and, and using the Star Trek IP and the Star Trek name but not actually delivering Star Trek, you know, it's it's just really painful to watch. Um, and we have these moments of hope, like I said, the merger was a moment of hope and that didn't change anything. And then the sales was, you know, a, a sort of chance for it to be fixed um, and that's probably not going to happen. So it's just really depressing. Um, but I still want to talk about it for a minute. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know, let me know what you think. I, um, uh, I just, how much longer is this going to go on? It's been, what, 2009 was the first film? So it's been 15 years of watching Star Trek being slapped around and begging for mercy and just being denied and continue to be abused. It's like, it's just painful to watch. It's like, it's like what... I'm not going to make any compar literal comparisons here. To, I had I had a movie I was thinking of that's like watching that, but I'm I'm not going to name that here. <laughs> Starts with S. Um, okay, I'm going to go. Um, I just uh, I'm guessing this is true. I'm believing this is true. Um, I'm assuming it's true, and it's just really depressing because there were a couple of moments of hope there, and they were dashed. And it's like, when will we get Star Trek? When will someone rescue? Star Trek and save Star Trek. It's just, it's just painful. This is painful to watch. Um, yeah, it's just. 